My friend Fletcher and I are going on the hunt to catch a 15 pound bass. Around three years ago, we found out about this trophy pond. We met this guy, he literally caught what? Like four, <laughs> four or five, 15 pounds. There has been four bass recorded over 15 pounds from this location. After finding out about this place, we had to get out there. From traveling in the woods to cutting down trees, it wasn't easy, but we finally got our boat in the pond. Our first five trips to this location went super well. Ooh, yep, yep. We caught some big bass on frogs. 4.7. Oh, okay. Gotta get them. Big swim baits. Oh my God and a punch rig through the thick grass. That one, good one. Yeah. But we never found those 15 pound walkers. So today we're switching up our game plan. We're gonna be throwing every bait that we own to see if we can entice one of these double digit donkeys. Now to the rules. There's gonna be 12 rounds of fishing. Each round is only 15 minutes. Each round will also be a different style of bait. As we progress from rounds one to 12, the baits are only gonna get bigger. Now on to round number one. Ned baits. Let's get after these 15 pound bass. Got our Ned bait. Round number one tied on. Fletcher, 15 minutes on the clock. Oh, it starts right now. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Let's get it, brother. Today is the day. I'm feeling it. The 15 pounder coming our way. All right, so what's the goal? At least an eight pounder. I, yeah, at least an eight, dude. I'm not going to be satisfied with anything less than trophy class, which to me is eight pounds. Just because the Ned rig is small doesn't mean the big fish won't eat it. And we found that out fast. Really? Oh. He ate it as I was reeling in, dude. Oh, oh it's a good one. Really? It's a good one. Right, the right off the rip, dude. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, <laughs> yo. Dude, they're gonna be biting today. Let's no. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. That's okay. What was that three cast in? Uh, not even. <laughs> so them kicking combos do to you. By the way, if you guys want to check out any of the Kicking Their Bass TV x -Lose combos, we got the bait caster and spinning rod with us today. You can check them out on kickingtheirbass.com. I appreciate anybody and everybody who supports me and the brand. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. About halfway through a round here, eight minutes left with the Ned. We got one solid bite so far, just kind of working our way up the bank. I mean, <laughs> at least we're gonna be able to figure out some kind of pattern today. We're literally throwing everything at them. Dude, tell me this doesn't look good. There's 100% of fish back there. If we don't catch them right now, we'll catch them later. The pressure was getting to us. After losing multiple fish, oh, oh no! Oh, Fletch! Yes, dude, he bit me the cast before and I threw back in. And the clock was ticking, but with 60 seconds on the clock, Fletcher came in clutch. Oh, about to find out. About to find out. Oh, Amis, she, she ain't, she ain't <laughs> small. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guess how much time we got left. <laughs> One minute and 14 seconds left. And we're on the board. Check that out, guys. Solid fish to get the day started. All right. Just under two pounds. Not too shabby. And that is going to be it for me on this round, guys. We got 15 seconds left, Noah. How, how much? 15. 15? <laughs> you might get one more cast. I'm squidabbling it. I'm not even putting it on all the way. We don't have time. Come on, come on, come on. All right. That's it, Noah. Dang it. Good job though, man. Appreciate it, dog. We're on a good pace. That's round number one. We did catch a fish. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going. Now on to round number two, the crawl. While Fletcher was going with the traditional Texas rig, I wanted to spice things up. In the past, we've caught so many large fish on a punch rig, and I could not let this opportunity slide. So moving on to round two, we have the crawl, and I'm doing something a little bit different than Fletcher. I'm actually rigging this up on a punch rig. And look at that right there. I'm telling you, punching that in some of this thick grass, we're gonna catch a monster. You rigged and ready to go, Noah? Yes, sir, we are good. We got the punch rig. Round two starts now. 15 minutes. Let's see what we can do with the crawls. Hey, you know, I'm going all the way to the end of the lake, man. That's the best punching spot. You already know. All right. Hey, all right. this should catch us an eight pounder, man. Oh, you're, going, you're going the full punching rig. Full punching rig. I'm telling you, that's how you catch them giants. 
Oh gosh, holy cannoli. That was literally right out the right out the rip. Oh, got one. There it is. There it is. Finally. <laughs> hey. Okay. One on the crawl. Not as big as the last, but about the same size. Thank you very much. Not a bad fish at all right there, guys. Nice little chunky son of a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pleased. I'm pleased. But I think we can do better. Oh, I just got thumped. Yes. Yes. Please be a good one running right at me. I can't tell. Not a bad one. <laughs> Easy now. Something's got it. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Let's go. While Fletcher was smacking him, I had nothing. Oh my gosh. Finally got a bite and I about had a heart attack. If I learned anything from this round is to never throw a punching rig with 15 minutes on the clock. Well, boys, that punch bite was just not the move, but it is all good. It's a cloudy day. They're out munching. That's even better than, you know, a sunny day where they're up in the grass. All right, Noah, that's it. Yes, sir. Now moving on to round number three, the popper. Getting a little bit bigger, slowly but surely, popping out the popper. Woo, that thing looking deadly. Is the popper, and this is actually a black popper. I usually don't throw black topwater baits like this, but listen, we're here to try something new today and just see what happens. All right, you ready, Noah? Yes, sir, we are good. 15 minutes on the clock. Let's get after it, boy. Come on, topwater bass, man. Oh my gosh, you can't tell me. A 15 pounder doesn't want to eat that. Topwater fishing, listen, is so much fun. Just hope we can get an aggressive one to eat. There's nothing more exciting than topwater blowups. We didn't really know what to expect from throwing topwater today, but Fletcher found out instantly. Oh, first cast, first cast. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're going crazy for me right now. I'm making them dance. They're loaded on that bank, aren't they? I mean, either that or I'm just a really good fisherman, one of the two. While Fletcher's catching bass, I've been catching trees. Oh my gosh. I've just had just the time of my life right now, you know? And it was time for me to lock in. No, I need you to catch a fish, man. That's supposed to be a team effort. I know, dude. I don't know what's going on here. Just wait. I'm not, I'm not brewed up yet. Oh! Oh, no way. Did he come off? No, I got him. Oh, is it a good one? I don't think so. That's a decent fish. <laughs> Dude, when you said big fish magnet, I was hoping it was about to be like a giant. Well, there we go, guys. We are finally on board and it came on the top water. Let's go, son. Not a bad fish at all. Very pretty, beautiful markings, not fat, but uh, we're gonna find your mama later, boy. About time, dude. My back was starting to hurt over here. I promise I'll, I'll come back. Just wait. All right, Fletcher. That's it. The timer? That's all she wrote. That is round number three complete. And that was a success, dude. We both got a fish on the popper. Finally. Both, both got one one round. Now on to round number four, crankbaits. All right, Fletcher, on the round number four, which is crankbaits, 15 minutes on the clock, baby. Okay, is it started? It is started, man. We're getting after it? Okay. It is started. I got a square bill, you got a lipless? Yeah, I got a lipless. We got the old two tap. My favorite bait. Kind of jealous of your trap, dude. Oh, there's one. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a chunky one. <laughs> what I say? What I say about them being on that flat? Yes, sir. Best one of the day. That's like a four pounder all day. Four pounder all day. Come on, get in the boat, get in the boat. <laughs> Dude, that is a monster, bro. I felt lost from rounds one through three, but found that round four was definitely a turning point. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. They're, they slapped it like three times. They're tiny, dude. <laughs> oh dude, no, he say, look, he slammed it. I missed him. Slammed it again. I missed him. Slammed it again. I got him. Well, what you think, Fletch? Lunker? Oh, yeah. Lunker. Straight hog. Hey, the bite felt good, though. 
See, we got a good little combo. You you got the, the trap on the flat. I got the crankbait on the drop off. Dynamic duo, some would say. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Well, that's a nice one too, dude. Right up in that corner. Come on. I, dude, she's barely hooked, bro. I'm talking barely. Oh my gosh. Good little two number. Dude, I threw in there and saw her dive over the top of it. Good two number. Good two number. Hey, we'll take her. And there we go, man. Let's go. Fish number three on the crankbaits. Man, this is going, bro. They are bite 10. Best time to fish, Fletch. When a hurricane's coming in. Yeah, the best time. Apparently. Oh. Dude. Oh my gosh. Yes, dude, in the same corner. Oh, there's the timer, man. No. Save her for the next bait. Yeah, we'll save her for the next round. Now that we have some momentum, let's head into round number five, jigs. I can throw the swim jig fast, slow, and even through the grass. So while Fletcher's gonna throw a normal jig, I'm actually gonna go with a swim jig. And we can put like a little swim bait trailer on the back of that. We're going with the white one, you know, with these cloudy conditions. That thing right there should get smoked. All right, Fletch, jiggy piggies. Jiggy piggies. Jiggies Start. for the piggies. In three, two, one, 15 minutes. Let's get after them, boys. I'm gonna go find me some wind. All right, I wanna try this, uh, this back edge here. Maybe not like the way, way back, but then we'll start here on this right side and kind of like work up and try some of these trees. So before we go all the way out to that point where we have a lot of wind going by, I kind of want to skip this swim jig up under these trees right here. I feel like we can get a really big bite. I know we only have 15 minutes with every bait, but I just feel like this swim jig could get absolutely destroyed today with how they're biting. We're going to cover so much water right here. We're just going to Keep casting, casting and reeling, casting and reeling. Oh, I got one. Got him, got him. Let's go. <laughs> no, I snapped. No, that snapped in the middle of the line. There must've been a Nick. No, oh, that is tragic. That is purely tragic. That's the worst way to lose a fish is snapping off in just like a random spot in your line. Oh, there we go. That's a big one. That's a big one. He's running so bad and he came off. Dude, that was a straight monster, dude. That fish was running so hard. I'm glad I didn't see it because that would give me nightmares. So it turns out Noah has the jigs. Um, I'm going to have to give over to him because I do not have one. All right. Turn around. Guys, I'm telling you that was that was a straight mule. I couldn't even turn the fish. Come on, Bombinos. Everybody, let's go. What's happening? Dude, that's a giant too. You got one? Dude, they are tugging on this thing. Oh my gosh, I, that fish made me feel like he was 12 pounds. Oh! Dude, that's my second bite, and I missed a absolute toad, Fletch. You missed a behemoth? Dude, I couldn't move him, and he came off just because I couldn't catch up. Dang. Yeah. But there we go, man. Hey, it's the first one on the jiggy. Not bad. Jiggy piggy. I snapped off on like a three pounder or so in the middle of my line, just like not even at the bait, just like in the middle of my rod. So you're asking for a jig. Yeah, I think you got the jigs. Dude, we both had some bad luck this round so far. I'm telling you that one that hit me, he was something else. That one felt huge too. Maybe it's just how they're hitting it. But I mean, that first one, I couldn't even move the fish, dude. <laughs> just gotta be patient, make some good casts, stay confident, stay positive. Oh, baby. Oh yeah. Not a big one, and she came off. Look at the bait fish. Dude, she spit up a bait fish. That was actually insane. Yep. Dude, they are, I'm telling you, they are slamming this bait. We're gonna back off of this a little bit. That was a good bite. Oh, 
Oh, if she has it, she has it. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got him. Yeah, let's go on the jig. Yeah, sir. Thank you. I did not want to get skunked on any of my baits today. And we weren't about to start with the jig because that should be a good bait to throw today based off the way they've been biting everything else. Sorry about that, honey. I do apologize. That looks saucy. Oh, <laughs> there goes the diver. Well, we got two bites on the jig. Lost one, unfortunately. But that's all right. We are moving on to our next bait. On to round number six, jerk baits. Here goes nothing. Whoo, 15 minutes to catch him on the jerk. Ooh, something is shredding my line. Look at that. The middle of my line. That's why it snapped off earlier. I don't, I must have a bad eyelid or something. Let me, let me do a quick inspection. Oh, yep. Sure enough. That right there, a really sharp broken eyelid. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Let's uh, take it off of this rod. <laughs> Losing a little bit of time on this bait and that's okay. We're just gonna have to put it on a different rod. All right, on the round number six, which is the jerk baits, we got us a soft plastic fluke on. 15 minutes on the timer. And that starts right now, baby. Let's get it. Good thing about the fluke is the fish are pretty active today, but I can also work this thing pretty slow if needed to. And with this bank right here, getting a bunch of wind on it, I'm telling you, there might not be a better bait to be thrown right now. Oh my gosh. Let's go, baby. That feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Come here, son. We're gonna back off the spot a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a great fish. Let's go, dude, come here. Let's get you in and keep it going. We, that's like our second cast, man. Oh yeah, baby, come on, man. Good two and a half pounder. Barely hooked in the side of her mouth. Let's go, son. First fish on the fluke. Let's keep it moving, man. That is a beautiful fish. After catching the first fish, I felt good, but I didn't realize how good the fluke was actually gonna catch him. Oh. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I almost fell. That is another good fish. Come here, boy. Not a giant, but that is a good one. Come here, son. Oh, they are smoking the fluke, man. Let's go. Another good two number. Come here, boy. I mean, these fish are still fun to catch, but we want your mama. We want your grandmama. We want the big ones. And look at that bass. Beautiful markings, so pretty with the colors. And I want you guys to notice how this bass is dark. He was living up in that grass. Compared to that last bass, this one has a lot darker tint to him. You can clearly tell these fish are chasing bait and we could not get them to stop biting these jerk baits. Oh, hello. Hello, ah, uh, it's a, it's a dinky. It's a little dinky twinky. Look at that. Now these, these, I got triple trebles and a micro fish. This is, this is, this is bad. Oh yeah, you see that little wiggle action? He's about to freak out. Whew, <laughs> a little nervous trying to grab that fish there. I'm not gonna lie. Thanks, honey. That's like a snack. This is unbelievable. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's our biggest one yet. Come here, boy. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, man. They are absolutely destroying this fluke. They won't stop. Oh my gosh, don't, oh, whoa. These fish just don't give up in here. They just do not give up, come here. Oh my goodness, I mean, just look at that. That is almost a three pound bass and a two pounder's body, man. Let's go, baby. They are smoking it. Look at that brute. Just super thick and healthy right there. That is almost a three pounder and a two pounder's body. Thank you, baby. Let's go, dude. This is unreal. Dude, dude this is unreal. I mean, this is, uh-oh. That might be our biggest one. Yeah, baby, come here. Come here. I mean, that was the next cast, dude. What is going on? What is going on, man? Come here, boy. Come on, let me just get you in the boat. Let me just get, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
She about the same size as that last one, honestly. Come here. These are, they're getting bigger. They are getting bigger. Oh, hello. Oh, I just got one fast reeling. <laughs> oh, Fletcher's on. Oh, we got some double trouble. We got the double up, boy. Woohoo! Another respectable fish. At least I didn't, <laughs> at least I didn't have to go without catching at least one good size one on the jerk bait. Dude, you look like you're having way too much fun. Dude, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Are they going crazy? They're going crazy. That was two casts, two casts in a row, dude. Oh, there it goes. 15 minutes is up. Moving on to round number seven. Bladed baits. This is some dangerous stuff. Throwing a chatter donk. This is the uh, the turning point from 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 average size bass to behemoths. We just passed the halfway point. All right, Fletcher. So a little mid game intermission here. Okay. We got to catch one over five in the next couple of rounds. Okay. <laughs> it's it's got to happen. I feel like I lost one on about round number five, maybe round number four. That cost us. I've caught more 10 pound fish on a spinner bait than any other. You know what's crazy? I've caught two over 10 on a spinner bait as well. Dude, big love. The bigs love chatter baits and they love spinners. All right, let the fun begin. 15 minutes. Let's make it count. Let's go, son. Let's go. We got a lot of potential to catch a big one right here. Come on, I'm feeling it. There we go. Yeah, not, not a big one, but a healthy fish. It ran out of that tree, dude. I had a beautiful little skip up there. Come here, baby. Get us on the board this round. Let's go. Yo, we're, so, we're flawless through seven rounds, Fletch. Yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> knock on wood. We've been killing it. Hooking up right away felt good, but man, me and Fletcher were so ready to catch some five plus pounders. And with us throwing a spinner bait and a chatter bait, I feel like the odds are in our favor. Oh. That was a thump. That was a thump. I'm just getting some love tabs here. You want me to troll, don't you? We're trolling all the way down to the honey hole. With these cloudy conditions, Fletcher could not get the fish to stop biting the spinner bait. Oh, golly. Oh, just smoked it. Just smoked it. And <laughs> what I was saying, it's harder to get quantity of bites, but the quality of bites goes up. As shows right here, a nice little chunk. Yes, sir. <laughs> Keeping the streak alive. Oh, yes. Now that is a just a little fish. Keep on working this little bit of bank that we have left for that timer. Oh my God, that was instant back to back. Back to back. Holy. <laughs> All right. Heating up. Heating up. <laughs> Smaller one, but I threw that one on that fish's head. It's crazy how fish you can go like that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then what pop? You telling me this don't look fishy? This this looks like the best spot I've fished in months. It's just calling our name. Clouds in the sky. Dude, it looks too good. Yeah. No, came off. No, no. Oh, why are they stacked right here? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're going crazy. Oh my gosh. We found them. Drop the poles, drop the poles. Boom, bada bing. Just like that. We got a minute, Noah. One minute. One minute. I'm gonna be really disappointed in myself if I can't get one bigger than that other fish on the chatterbait. I just haven't had any more opportunities. Maybe I just picked the wrong spots to go to. I'll tell you, it's awesome fishing with all these baits, but having the switch after 15 minutes every time, especially when you're killing it on a bait, is tough. Oh no. One more cast, one more cast. Gosh, finally got a bite. Oh no! There goes the timer. Dude, I gotta reel it in, Fletch. I gotta reel it in. Oh no, dude! 
<laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I'm on him, bro. Why? <laughs> I'll save her for the next bait. Now on to round number eight, the frog. All right, round number eight starts right now, and this has to be one of the most exciting rounds for me. It is the frog round. Some skipping action, some topwater action, some frog bite action, baby. We are ready. 15 minutes. Let's go. Come on. We're getting started with the frog right here. And the one thing I like to do to my frogs is trim my legs. Got just a little too much legs on this guy. Around one year ago, me, Connor, Fletcher, and Tyler had a 2v2 frog tournament in this pond, and we absolutely smoked them. We can only hope that the frog bite today is as good as it was then. And there's a baby gator coming over to it. No, no. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no. Why are you doing that, sir? No frog for you. I might have to get away from this guy. Oh no, he just went underwater. He's probably gonna, <laughs> he's gonna go jump on my frog. Let's get this frog in there. See what we can make happen. Woo! Oh dang, that kind of zinged. Might need to get under the trees. Speaking of that, golly. <laughs> of course, first cast. <laughs> One comes up and eats it. Classic. Eating my words right there is what I'm doing. Now the other baby gator's back. Dude, can you stop? Just no. You're, ruin you're ruining the 15 minute frog sesh. Can you just... Dude, you were just rude. You are... No, no, no. That is not okay. What? <laughs> Where did you come from? Like, what? what is going on? Why is... Where is Mama Gator? Okay. I don't want to make Mama Gator mad. Huge fish right there. He just exploded on something. And I think he boiled and went out, out from the trees. No, man. What's crazy is that's exactly where I was going to. All right, 15 pounder. If there was a time to show yourself, catching you on the frog would be absolutely amazing. All right, we don't want to get too caught up doing something or fishing somewhere we don't think we should with the frog. So we're going to actually keep moving. And uh, I'm going to get on down the lake a little bit. Any bites? Nothing. Nothing? Some gators following me. The time was ticking and all we had was baby gators chasing our frog. But with 60 seconds left, I finally got the bite I was looking for. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's hype. The skinniest fish all day. Let's go, baby. Come on. Best cast of the day. Skinniest fish of the day. And on a skip with the frog, man. Look at how thin that bass is, man. I feel kind of bad, man. He really needed a meal. I'm sorry, buddy. I wish I had a, a live frog to give you. I just, I don't, sadly. Let's go, man. I just had a weird feeling that was the cast, and we finally, we've been casting so bad today, and that was just a beautiful skip all the way up on the bank, and it was done. Oh, there she blows, Fletch. Yes, sir. Oh, the timer go? Dude, we, we've been trying to just catch a fish every round on every bait that we put our hands on, and I got it there in the last minute. Unreal. Dude, I'm telling you, Fletch, best skip of the day, too. It was just, it was meant to be. Now on to round number nine, worms. We are on round number nine of 12. I gotta cut this bait off and we are on to worms. I'm just gonna be throwing a little Texas rig stick bait. Nothing too fancy, could always mix it up and go wacky, but I'm kind of feeling the T-rig. All right, Noah, 15 minutes, here we go. All right, guys, we got this big old worm here. And this is in June bug. Perfect color for this pond. Got some good stain to it. And this is the Strike King and the Conda. You talk about a worm. Listen, if a big fish wants a big bait, this is the bait for him. I'll tell you that. Dude, that worm is actually absurd. Oh my gosh. We're gonna throw a couple casts right here. And then I really wanna go where we got those chatterbait bites because there was multiple fish down there on like a brush pile. And that could be a killer spot to throw this worm. Oh, dude, I had a bite right away. First cast. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm just try to move this worm a little fast. I really want to try that spot. I have a just a weird dire feeling that we're going to get a killer bite over there. And that's one spot we just haven't really got to throw on how I'd want to. 
Dude. He ate it on the fall and he just, I guess he didn't have it all the way. This is, <laughs> this is a big worm, so I gotta be a little patient with it. He probably pulled it down, let's see. No? I don't really see any bite marks. I'm telling you, he had that thing right away. Right there, come on, baby. Oh my gosh, like look at that little honey hole in there. I can just skip this back there. Oh, I just got clapped. Yes, yes. Oh, all right. Keeping that streak alive. All right, got one on the worm. That little hole was looking too juicy not to hold a fish, and I have a feeling this might not be the only one. So I'm gonna get her right off of here, and we're gonna get back in there. Have you caught one on the worm yet? Dude, they're slowing down on us. Slide right by here. Ooh, I don't like that cast. I'm gonna try that again. Getting up on some good stuff. Oh yeah, that was money. Oh, now there goes a diver. Gotta make this cast count. Please. A little something in there. Dang, dude, I really wanted to fish this little bit of stuff with the worm. But we're right out of time. Oh, we got one. Oh, no, he dropped it. No. Oh, he literally started taking off with it. I was getting ready to rip him. Moving on to round 10, walking baits. We got three more rounds. Can we make it happen? Uh, you scratched my back last round. I scratched my back you, this round. Or, <laughs> what am I saying? I scratched our back this round. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep it rolling. Hey, the big question is, can we complete it and get a double digit, dude? That is that is the truth. I'm I'm waiting, dude. I just want to catch a five pounder. We got us a Strike King sexy dog right here. She looking sexy. A little shad pattern. And we're in a prime spot to throw this. I'm not gonna lie, that little juicy bank that's been been treating us nice all day. Just had a second to cool off. The wind's picking back up. I think I'm going right back over there with this thing. No, we just gotta wake these fish up. That hard knock. All right, Fletch, 15 minutes starts right now, son. Starting up. I wanna try to call these fish up on this grass line. You think we can get them to come up and eat this? They could go crazy on this. It's definitely the loudest, like, most in-your-face bait we've thrown so far. Like, this is this is one that's like an angry fish is gonna eat. Like, one that's just pissed off. Took me a while, but I just feel, I feel locked right now. Man, this is just not going as I would hope. It's just one of those things about working your way up in bait size. Uh, it's, it's definitely tougher to catch fish sometimes. But if, if it pans out where you get the bites, I mean, it could be that bite you've been waiting for all day. Oh, we're getting a ring-a-ling. Is that it? 15 minutes? Yes, sir. That is it. Oh, no. We find, I mean, it got the best, best of us that round, but we got two more rounds to go, man. We have prop baits coming up next between buzz baits and whopper ploppers, baby. Oh, man. The streak's dead. The streak's dead, sadly. But oh. I mean, we went all the way through. We went nine rounds straight, just absolutely <laughs> demolishing the fish. I'll take it, dude. That's better than I expected, to be honest. After catching a fish every round, it was the walking bait that just couldn't get the job done for us in the 15 minutes. So we just had to move on to round number 11, prop baits. There's part of me that thinks the fish just stopped biting, but there's part of me that thinks that top water is just not the move. And sadly, we are going from a walking bait top water round all the way to another top water round with uh, any sort of prop baits. Fletcher's gonna be messing with the buzz bait. I'm gonna be throwing the mock patroller. We are closing in on the final round though where we get to throw those big swim baits and that moving bait's been hot. Let's catch some on this top water and then try to catch the biggest fish we can on the final big swim bait. 15 minutes starts now. Come on, fish. Maybe they just want it moving. Oh no, we are back to gator session. We're back. <laughs> why, dude, you're just so tiny. Like, like, why are you? No. Oh my gosh, what was that? A one and a half foot gator just made a grown man flinch. That is, 
Not my proudest moment. Just thank God uh, Mama Gator's not here. <gasps> Let's go, baby. Oh, it's a good one. Come here. Come here, son. Let's just keep him on. Let's just keep him on. Oh, let's go, dude. He's barely hooked. Oh my gosh. I got one, Fletch. Oh, come on. Just gotta stay focused here. We gotta land this fish. We don't have many bites on top water. We just gotta land her. Oh my, dude, she is barely hooked. Dude, she, you just stop it, please. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go, baby. Good solid three pounder, man. On the mock patroller, the walking bait was just not working. And we whipped out the patroller and within a couple minutes, we already got smoked, man. The gators actually called out the big bass. The gators made it happen. Still hoping to get one, obviously a lot bigger than this, but we cannot complain. I'm just blessed to be out here today. I'm blessed to say that we have caught a fish out of 10 of the 11 rounds so far. And we just gotta keep hunting for those giants. No catching a fish gives me a little bit more hope with this. They're pretty similar baits, just a little different in nature, but not too much. They're fished and make similar sounds and put off similar vibrations. <gasps> oh, let's go baby, come on. They're smoking it. They are smoking it. This is not a big one. Oh, I had two on. I had two on. Dude, I literally had two fish. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm about to lose my mind. There was a whole, either I had another fish on or that other fish just tried to eat this fish. I don't know what just happened right there. That was absolutely insane, man. Sky freaking high and he's already off. Dude, did we have two fish on? Or did another fish try to take it out of his mouth? I have no idea what just happened. We've given it a little bit of time to cool off. Oh, oh no. I literally just got bit. What? Okay. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. We got one on the troll. We got one on the troll. Let's go. <laughs> I'm trolling. <laughs> Come in, trying to come to you. <laughs> Let's go. High speed trolling in the middle. <laughs> Not how I wrote it up, but <laughs> a fish is a fish. Dude, Fletcher, another double up. Oh. Let's go, baby. The smallest fish of the day. It's heating up right before this last round. I'm feeling good. I know, that's what I was telling the people, man. I got my confidence back. Oh, Fletch, that is it. Oh. That is oh. it. Listen, we're on the round number 12, the final round, bro. Yeah, bro. The final one. Hey, it's been good, man. But listen, that means all the marbles are on the line. We have to go for the biggest fish possible right now. Yes, sir. And good thing we save the best for last. Moving on to the final round number 12, big swim baits. I've been waiting on this moment all day. I know, I've been just eyeing the swim bait in, my, in the side of my boat, just waiting the tire on. Hey, he's been staring at me, dude. That new new. But we're still missing something. Oh yeah. That monster. We need the cherry on top. And this is the moment that I think the big fish should bite, man. Let's do it. This is our last 15 minutes to chase our dreams to catch a 15 pounder. All right, Fletcher, final round, brother. 15 Woo! minutes on the clock. All, right. All the marbles, big swim bait action, man. Even though the fishing in the first 11 rounds has been unreal, we're a little disappointed with the size. But after all these rounds of hard work, we're not giving up here. I'm ready to get after it if you are. I think I'm gonna work this little section in here. That's where I hooked the biggest fish we've ever seen in this pond. Right up in that corner? Right there. I, I caught a pretty big one in there last time I came here. A nice like almost five pounder. So I'm feeling pretty good about that spot. It, it seems to draw the big ones to it. Oh, it is getting dark. Not because of the sun, maybe a little bit because of the sun, but mainly because of the storm. Hopefully the big bass come off the storm right here. They have a little bit longer to eat before that storm blows them away. 
So maybe they're just gonna start munching. They kind of popped off on me on the spinner bait right here. Had a few other little bites here as well. This is right where Noah missed a monster fish. The very first time we came in here, just a true behemoth, trophy class girthosaurus. Oh, 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 oh. I just got bit. I just got bit. I don't know, it was just a tap. Like, but a, like a solid, a solid tap. Do the trick, buddy. Do the trick. This spot has been hot all day. Waited a long time to come back and fish this. I just know there's some really good ones on here. We just gotta trick them to eat. Oh, you gotta be Josh my tots. I get just a gnat flew into my eyeball. I don't know if it's out or not. Oh, nope, definitely not out. Definitely not out. Good thing we kept pushing because I was lucky enough to catch the biggest fish of the day. I got one. You got one? It's a giant. It's a giant. Yeah, it's a giant. Oh my gosh, dude. Massive Fletch. Massive? I haven't like seen him fully, but I saw the side of his belly. Oh my gosh, dude. Fletcher, I got him, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm telling you, Fletch. Yeah, get get your butt over here. I got a gnat in my eyeball currently trying to resolve that. Fletcher, I got a giant, dude. We've waited all day for this moment. <laughs> oh my gosh, hold on. I'm trying to get there. I'll try to get there. I mean, I can land him. I can try to. It looks like a minimal five pounder. Oh, he has it choked. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he has it choked. Let's go, baby. Come on, man. Let's go, Woo! baby. Let's go. We waited all Get day that for that. Oh my gosh, and he ate that mag draft. Woo! All the way in the back of his throat. Let's go, son. Dude, I can't believe that, dude. I really cannot believe that right now. Look at that stud, Fletch. That is a straight stud, boy. Dude, I knew there had to be a big one on this bank. I mean, that ain't no 10 pounder, but that is that is a tank, dude. Oh. That is a certified piggy. That's five pounder all day. He's heavy. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, that's a slab of meat. Dude. Now, does that answer the question, Fletch? Big baits catch big fish? That is, that is the truth, that they do. Dude, I can't even. That's how the cookie crumbles. <sighs> Come on, give me, give me five, give me six. I don't think she's that, oh, she's five. Five? Five even, bro. Right on the dot? <laughs> Literally <laughs> right on the, yeah, 5.00. <laughs> it just went down the 498, but we're gonna call her a five. Let's go, dude, come on. That, that is so boy. hype. That is so hype. Woo! Dude, that is a girthy fish. I gotta get a picture of this thing. We may not have got a double digit today, but me and Fletcher worked our butts off and showed why you never give up on a day of fishing. Even though this fish was five pounds, it was enough for us to close the book on today and be happy with the results. And just remember, never give up and keep fishing.